Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're 
so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, oh, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, 
They're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf windmill. Nanny Plum, I'd like some bread with my egg, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour. And we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have. But as usual, the elf truck is late. Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr Elf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid King's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The King wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the Elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, oh, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Ho, oh, ho. Don't you know how a windmill makes flour? Of course I do. Uh, Wise old elf, can you show us how it makes flour? Of course I can. Follow me. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? It's an elf. <laughs> no, no. What is the elf holding? It's wheat. Very good, Ben. And who knows what we do with wheat at the elf windmill? I know. We take the wheat and we... Uh, one moment, Ben. Let's give the fairies a chance to tell us. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? Oh, no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, 
the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your life. Oh! Look how fast the sails are going. Too fast. The mill is out of control. It's filling up with flour. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down. Oh. All right. I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Oh. Oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <gasps> Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Hi, Ben. Ah, Mr. Elf. Could you deliver one bag of flour for Nanny Plum? She can have a whole truckload. I'll take it there right away. Hooray! <coughs> oh, thank you. 
That would be most kind. <coughs> 